All right, welcome, biology. Uh, we are now getting into probably the most interesting uh, chapter, uh, these next two chapters, chapters 27 and 28. Uh, we will be talking about animals and different systems and how uh, some of these systems are related in, among the diversity of animals and the different phyla. Uh, so today we will be covering 27.1 and 27.2. That will be uh, feeding and digestion. Uh, a lot of it we've already covered somewhat um, when we talked about ecology uh, and uh, heterotrophs. Uh, and also we'll be looking into uh, um, 27.2 respiration. So this one will be on 27.1. Uh, uh, that way I can keep it a little bit uh, shorter. Uh, your quiz for chapter 27 will be the following week. Okay, so um, 27 will be the following week. It'll be on two, uh, four sections, 27, 1, 2, 3, 4. Feeding, digestion, respiration, circulate circulation and excretion uh, so those are the four systems that we will talk about and be covered in uh, chapter 27 okay so you'll take this uh, set of notes uh, and uh, three others all right well let's move on you have a butterfly here i really don't know why i put that on there uh, i guess it's mentioned a little bit uh, because we should be talking more uh, mostly about chordates uh, a horse and a fishy, 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 and rocks. So I'm not really sure uh, what that is. Maybe the bird poop excretion. Um, oh, that's what it is. Excretion, bird poop. Okay. So feeding and digestion. Let's talk about that. Um, we've already covered these terms, detritivores, carnivores, herbivores. So I'm not going to go into those. Uh, but I do want to talk about filter feeders. That's a new one. Uh, these are pretty much going to strain food from water using modified gills. Um, you see these in whales. Okay, a blue whale, humpback whale. Majority of your whales are going to uh, be using uh, this type of feeding system. Pretty much the water just flows through and it's going to trap the um, plankton or such that it's going to eat. These tend to be uh, herbivores, um, or you can have some that are, uh, depending on the type of plankton, you have photoplankton or phytoplankton and uh, zooplankton. Uh, so depending on, the, I guess, the type of plankton will determine whether they're herbivores or carnivores. All right. Uh, plankton are almost kind of microscopic shrimp looking uh, structures. So uh, you also have symbionts okay they rely on symbiosis for nutritional needs parasitic as well as mutualistic uh, a leech being a parasitic uh, sucker fishes being a mutualistic symbiosis we've covered these relationships before uh, so I'm not going to get into detail there all right this is a sponge here this is how they will eat I told you they have somewhat of a unique uh, system the water pretty much is just going to be filtered through their cells now it's not necessarily the same as a uh, f uh, the whale um, these whales are going to have kind of this trap these just go straight through the cells for the most part so you can see the green here that is going to take this food or the water and and cycle it through the cells and they will get nutrition that way these whales are going to pretty much inhale or ingest water and it's going to go through some sort of trap that's going to collect and uh, that's how they're going to eat. You have an herbivore here, all right, eating grass and carnivores here. Uh, notice the teeth here, which we will uh, talk about here. Uh, so you have processing of food. So once, since animals, they're not um, autotrophs, they are heterotrophs, and they need to consume another organism in order to get energy. Uh, so consuming the food is half the battle, um, I guess a third of the battle, I should say, uh, and that part is called ingestion. Now we're going to be talking about digestion. So you have two types, intracellular, meaning inside, and extracellular, being outside. 
Okay, so the intracellular is digested food inside special cells that pass nutrients uh, to other cells by diffusion. So this is inside, okay, inside the body. This is extracellular or outside. All right, so food is broken down outside cells in a digestive system and then absorbed. Now, this is a little harder for us to understand uh, as when you eat food, it goes into us. Uh, but scientifically speaking, we have what is a digestive tract, two openings. Okay, it's a one-way system. Food moves one direction through mouth and exit anus. So the, the, the food technically does not enter our body until we absorb it. And we know that because we have waste that it being feces here. So humans okay, have an extracellular digestive, okay, uh, or we have our digestive tract, okay, uh, so we break down that food in a very complex series of process, uh, and then we are going to take in and absorb that food, and then deliver it to the cells, where they can do cellular respiration, and make energy, create ATP, all right. You also have gastrovascular cavities, which is a single opening where both uh, ingest and expel waste. So this is a two-way. It's a single opening. It's going to come in, break down, uh, and then it will get rid of the waste throughout the same, same opening. This is going to be seen in jellyfish. Okay, Jellyfish are going to take in food. They're going to digest it, and then they'll excrete food out that same opening there. All right, so here is a digestive tract. Here is a gastrovascular cavity. All right, so mouth here gets digested and then exits there as well. This is a medusa, similar to that of a jellyfish and a polyp. Uh, also, cnidarians uh, there uh, for you. Okay, here you have a dog, uh, the dog di digestive systems, a digestive tract, okay, where it's going to enter here, exit through the rectum, um, and you have this long kind of, a lot of complex organ out, uh, organs that are going to cause uh, that food to get broken down and uh, absorb. All right, what about some specialization? Well, Eating meat, in order to do that, we talked a little bit about teeth being able to determine the diet. Well, you need sharp teeth to capture and slice prey, okay, jaw up and jaw down motion. So the jaws there are going to be able to uh, go up and down in that motion, okay. Um, and so looking at the fossils and things like that, the anatomy, uh, the skeletal system of that, you can see that the jaw is going to have... Uh, motion in an up and down or a superior inferior plane. Eating pl uh, plants, you're going to have flat teeth. Okay, these are adapted for uh, rasping or pretty much grinding. Okay, uh, you're going to grind that against two surfaces, break it up, uh, and that's because it contains cellulose, which is very hard, and actually we don't digest it. Okay, if you want to cure. Uh, hunger in the world, find a way that we can digest cellulose and then you can just walk out to your front yard and start eating grass. Uh, but here you see jaw will be able to move in a side to side. So the jaw will move side to side in order to uh, be able to eat plants. Us humans, we are omnivores, so we eat meat and plants. We have canines that are sharp teeth. We have incisors that allow us to bite off pieces. And then we have our molars uh, premolars and uh, molars that allow us to grind these up. Um, digestive tracts, uh, car carnivorous invertebrates uh, have fast-acting meat enzymes. Herbivorous animals usually have long digestive tracts that, uh, with bacterial symbionts that digest cellulose. Okay, what that means is you have. Uh, like a, a cow, for example, is going to have a somewhat larger of a um, digestive system that's going to have some structures that are put into place to help break up cellulose. Uh, in birds, you have a crop and a gizzard, which is pretty much rocks that's going to help break that up. Uh, cows, you have 
multiple stomachs. They also um, regurgitate it, chew it up again, and goes through a process where they, they do that. Uh, so you have uh, that. Uh, that uh, That's called, if you've ever heard the term chewing uh, the cud, uh, and that's what that refers to. So looking at this here, you have canine uh, or a meat uh, carnivore animal. All right, you have these long, sharp teeth. That's going to be able to shred apart these. And then the most of that digestion is get, getting or breaking down that food is going to be based on your uh, enzymes that your the, the body is going to have in your body currently you have a lot of bacteria in your intestines that are going to aid in this breaking down of uh, meat and food as well now looking at a herbivore okay those that eat plants you can see that these are flat and that's because they're going to move side to side and be able to uh, grind that food all right that was chapter 27.1 digestion uh, or feeding and digestion. Stay tuned for 27.2 respiration.